हेलो चिल्ड्रेन आई एम वीना भार्गव ऑथर ऑफ अ टेक्स्ट बुक ऑफ आईसीएससी ज्योग्राफी फॉर क्लास टेन पब्लिश बाय गोयल ब्रदर्स प्रकाशन दिस वीडियो इज अ प्रेजेंटेशन ऑन गाइडलाइंस फॉर मैप पॉइंटिंग एज यू नो मैप पॉइंटिंग इज अ कंपल्सरी क्वेश्चन इन आईसीएससी बोर्ड एग्जामिनेशन पेपर ऑफ ज्योग्राफी कैरिंग टेन मार्क्स आई एम श्योर इट विल बी वेरी यूजफुल फॉर स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ आईसीएससी ऑल ओवर इंडिया दिस वीडियो इज अ सीक्वल टू माई three videos on interpretation of topographical survey sheets on youtube since map pointing is a compulsory question carrying 10 marks and the syllabus is given to the point by the council you must master this skill and get full marks in this question for best results you must practice on the river map of india given in the specimen paper released by the council the same map will be given in the examination for you to do some features were added in the syllabus by the council as shown in the slide you must practice map pointing strictly as given in the syllabus no additional points are required to mark for example if red soil in one area south of tropic of cancer is asked then mark only one area in the south and not all the areas the labeling of the map should be done on the map itself and not by writing the question number or making a key Map pointing skill requires precise marking. Therefore, you must have your well sharpened pencils, eraser, and color pencils at hand, so that you don't have to depend on others at the time of examination. Do not make use of color sketch pens and crayons, as they are not to be used. While working on map, wise use of arrows is advisable to avoid overcrowding on the map. The use of arrow gives specific location. on the map arrowhead must point towards the feature asked the arrows must be marked horizontally and not in all directions the labeling on the map must be done in capital letters in black pen use of colors while marking on the map is mandatory you are expected to use specific colors while doing this exercise these colors are accepted worldwide yellow color is used for plains and deserts you must use orange for plateaus mountains are always marked with reference to rivers in brown they should be marked with a single line as shown in the map all water bodies must be marked in blue including rivers gulfs and straits soils can be marked as specified example black soil in black and red soil in red towns must be marked in red dot the capital city must be marked in red square population must be marked in yellow with a small area dotted with brown as shown in the map low lands and islands must be marked in green mountains must be marked in brown with a single line while marking a mountain range you should keep in mind its location and direction it is easier to mark the mountain range with reference to rivers you must not draw a mountain range across a river or intersecting a river valley example eastern ghats must not be marked between krishna and godavari valley mount godwin austin or k2 and mount kanchenjunga must be marked as a triangle in brown while drawing the western ghats you must not touch the western coastline deccan plateau must be drawn within western ghats and eastern ghats in orange color chota nagpur is drawn near the tributary of the modar river along the tropic of cancer in case indo gangetic plain is asked you must start marking the area from pakistan border in the west covering entire area with satluj yamuna ganga and its tributaries up to west bengal and color it yellow as given in the map if only gangetic plain is asked then you can start marking the area covering yamuna ganga and its tributaries up to west bengal and color it yellow remember to color only relevant area and not exceed the limit the coastal plain must be marked in green along the full coastline in the examination if a river is asked to mark it should be colored blue the labeling should be done on the upper curve of the river and not under it wherever you are not able to label on the river you can make use of an arrow all water bodies must be colored in blue 
the streets, gulfs and lakes must be shown with an arrow as shown in the map. The passes Karakoram and Nathula should be shown using the symbol shown in the map in red. Nathula pass is shown on the right side of the Sikkim in inclined manner. Latitude 23 and a half degree north and longitude 82 and a half degree east should be drawn in broken lines in red. Latitude 23 and a half degree north should pass through the three points as shown in the map. Longitude 82 and a half degree east must pass through the confluence of Yamuna and Ganga, Godavari Delta, and near Sri Lanka as shown in the map on the points. A, B and C. Direction of Northeast Monsoon, Retreating Monsoon, Southwest Monsoon Arabian Sea Branch and Southwest Monsoon Bay of Bengal Branch must be marked in blue or black arrows as per their direction. Just two arrows for each is sufficient. It will be helpful if you draw the cardinal points diagram North, South, East, West for precise marking. The arrow showing retreating monsoon from northeast to southwest must point towards Tamil Nadu as it gets rainfall by retreating monsoon during winter. The northeast monsoon arrow must point towards eastern coast from northeast to southwest. Western coast gets rainfall by southwest monsoon winds from southwest to northeast during summer. You must be particular about their direction. You are supposed to learn to mark only three minerals. Coal in Jharia, iron ore in Sangam district of Jharkhand, onshore oil in Digboy in Assam and offshore oil field in Mumbai High. In this map, you have to mark the minerals using symbols in different colors. The key for the same must be given as shown in the map. As you can see, Jharkhand coal field is right in front of tributary of Damodar near the Tropic of Cancer. Directly below is Singbam. Mumbai High is shown in Arabian Sea. It should not touch the coast. Digboy is in Assam. While marking soils, you have to keep in mind several points. First of all, right colors have to be used, that is, Black for black soil, red for red soil, light brown for alluvial soil and reddish brown for laterite soil. You must not shade more area than required. For example, black soil can be marked near Tapi river in a small circle. You must learn one area above Tropic of Cancer or in north and one area south of Tropic of Cancer for each type of soil. Example, laterite soil in Northeast India can be marked between Garo, Khasi and Jayantia and Brahmaputra river in a small circle as shown in the map. In south, laterite soil can be marked on summits of western Ghats or eastern Ghats. The towns must be marked with reference to rivers with a red dot as shown in the map. In board examination, you are given map of India with 24 rivers. Hence, if you have your own clues with reference to rivers, it will be much easier to mark the towns. Example, Srinagar is on Jhelum and Kolkata is on Hubli. Delhi must be marked in red square as it is the capital of India. You must mark the ports like Vaisak and Chennai on the coastline and not in the Bay of Bengal. You should be familiar with the political map of India to mark the distribution of population. It will be easier to mark the distribution of population if you know the correct location of states of India. Different terms are used to ask the distribution of population in your examination paper. They should be labeled using an arrow in the same terms in capital letters. Example, sparse population in West is in Rajasthan, Thar Desert. Highest density of population is in Bihar. Lowest density of population in Northeast is in Arunachal Pradesh. Sparse population in North is in Sikkim. Largest populated state is UP. 
highest density of population in South India is in Kerala. Finally, a few points to remember. Since map pointing is a compulsory question, regular practice is the key to score full 10 marks. Use of arrows in correct direction is necessary for precise map pointing. Do draw the diagram of cardinal points north, south, east, west to mark correct direction. You must label in capital letters to avoid untidy marking. Do not forget to write your name, roll number, etc. before tying the map to the answer sheet. You must be familiar with the political map of India, especially northeast taste and location of rivers to do precise marking. You must use appropriate colors. You must mark only what is asked. Do not mark additional information. Marking and labeling must be done on the map. Finally, read the question carefully before you start. Neatness, clarity and correct marking is mandatory in map pointing.